the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something little with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. I don't want to hear that for me. I don't want to hear it for you. Let us, let's line up with Christ instead of trying to line up with the world. Stop. Stop doing things that is selfish. Stop doing things that you justify that hate people. Because we will, you know, we want to sit there and address all of them. Don't be selective. Don't be incomplete. Focus on all things. And we'll make, I guarantee you, God will fight the battles that need to be fought. But not not, not in the flesh, but he's going to do it in the spirit. And he'll make things happen. He'll change things. He'll manifest itself. If you keep getting in the way, if you keep endorsing evil, then you can pay the price. I think you're ready to choose the right way. I know you will, just like I will, and we'll continue to try to do the right thing. Man, God bless you. I hope you have a great Sunday. Let me go ahead and close out with that. I hope you have a great Sunday. I hope you have a great week. I hope you got something and learned something from the study. And uh, let's continue. Let's break these scriptures down and let's talk about them. Let's learn them. Let's hear the different examples of the Bible from the Old Testament. Let's look at the parables in the New Testament. Let's look at the teaching of Christ. And let's look at the growth and the manifestation of the, the, the church, the body of Christ. And then let us let our light so shine that we make a difference in our lives and in the lives of those we come in contact with. Amen? All right. Thank you for listening. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it. If you see a, uh, you want to make a comment, make a comment. We'll look at it. We'll analyze it. Right? But subscribe, man. <laughs> subscribe, woman. Subscribe and, 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 and just uh, encourage and also share these uh, teaching, uh, these discussions, excuse me, <laughs> uh, with one another uh, to other people so that they can analyze it too and have your own little Bible studies and your own sessions that you, you get into the Word of God. Amen? All right. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Now let's count four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session. and We're not meant to do that. But we need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ and don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you're doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start the session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial? Belial? Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate? What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talk, talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth. Uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something to deal with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least biased 
uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in see you. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can. And understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation of the transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study. And, and I hope you come back again. And we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. God bless you. And I'll see you and see you. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. All right. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>
I forgive you because the Bible tells me so. You see what I'm saying? For us as believers, mature believers, is the fact is what does the Bible tells us so, right? And that's that's what I want you to remember that. And then also this scripture here that uh, I mentioned in the introduction, what I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning now is uh, in the closing, excuse me, is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet order and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate, everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you're showing hate and you're showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or following the will of man or myself. I said, Father Christ. Amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoy the study. And then I hope you see the rest of the segments as we go along and talk. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the study. The session just went through. I have break those sessions down. I have broken the broken those sessions down from A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish them out. And then I just uh, post those on a daily basis throughout the week. And I will share those as much as possible to everybody. Uh, on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. And, you know, I will send some out to text. I normally try to send ones on text on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And tell you Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, of the session that we had. So uh, I just hope you just capture the whole point is that we need to be able to actually focus on the Word of God and practice the Word of God and stop fellowship with people that teach things that's contrary to the word of God. Now, I tell you not to go and minister and go preach the, the gospel to, 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 the, to the world, but when you actually have people who profess to be Christians and then they try to teach things contrary to the scriptures, not contrary to your ministry, your denomination, uh, or whatever somebody else tells you, what you want to do as an individual is responsible for doing what the scriptures say. Be led by the Holy Spirit is all we want to be able to do emphasize in this teaching. You know, so uh, there's no, the title uh, as we gave here, and I'll show it again just to close out with it, the title, and I'll update the title in itself, but it says, What fellowship has Christ with Belial, Belial represents the devil, or love with hate? What, what fellowship do those two have? They don't have any. Uh, and that's why you want to make sure that you don't demonstrate the things or the, 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 the tools and matters of the devil. You want to demonstrate the tools of Christ, the love of Christ, the teaching of Christ. You know, I, I put in a song in this and they say, yes, you know, you hear that old song, the Christian song, children's song that says, you know, yes, Jesus loves me uh, because the Bible tells me so. And I put in there the saying is that, that that's an incomplete song. And I know it's a children's song, and I just encourage the people to add some other things to the song, such as, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, I forgive you, because the Bible tells me so. You see what I'm saying? 
that for us as believers, mature believers, is the fact is what does the Bible tells us so, right? And that's that's what I want you to remember that. And then also this scripture here that uh, I mentioned in the introduction, what well, I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning now is uh, in the closing, excuse me, is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet order and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brother, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate and everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you're showing hate and you're showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or following the will of man or myself. I said, Father Christ. Amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the study. And then I hope you see the rest of these segments as we go along and do it. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.